This is you can take a look at convert to grayscale. You know, these days we've got a number of different applications for graphic design on the market. We've got shops working with Adobe products, shops working with Corel products, shops and people dealing with sometimes GIMP or Inkscape. And a lot of times, going with our effects and our colors from one application to another, we're not going to be sure that whoever we're sending our separations out to, they're going to get it right. And if you're a freelance designer and you've got to send designs or graphics to somebody who's printing out of Illustrator for a client, being able to send them a grayscale file is going to ensure that you're going to be able to output exactly what it is you had in mind when you created your design in Corel Draw. So we'd like to be able to convert to grayscale. Also, a couple of the other benefits are is once we convert our separations to grayscale, we can go in and do custom tweaks and adjustments on our grayscales directly in Corel Photo Paint. So we'll take a look at that in this session. On page two, we've got our very familiar Lumberjacks design. Go ahead and open Simple Seps. I'm going to zoom out here, and I've got to convert this one again, I believe. Go ahead and select everything. Create color palette, and I'll go with my black, my brown, my red, my white, and my golden yellow. Change my increments to two, and we'll do a one-click conversion. Go ahead and close that, and I'm going to go ahead and tweak these. Hit Control-Z. I actually changed all my colors there. I didn't want to do that. Left-click, hold down on this color palette, and release here in the pants. Go ahead and go to my separations. I'm going to go to my raster conversions. We'll select grayscale. Go at 300 DPI, as you can see here. And then we'll go ahead and click on generate separations. And Simple Steps will convert our separations to grayscales for us. Now, a couple of different benefits. As I said, we'll take a look at those in just a minute. And once that's finished, you'll actually see that we've got our separations set up as grayscale images in Corel Draw bitmap grayscale images and if we want to go ahead and do custom tweaking in photo paint we could do that for instance if I want to do some tweaking on this particular part of my design let's say I want to put some shading or highlighting in this shirt to make this look more like pectoral muscles all I need to do is go to bitmaps and edit bitmap my graphic will open up in Corel photo paint and then once that's open I can actually I'll go ahead and resize this screen just a bit here so it fits in my screen capture area. Go ahead and zoom out just a bit here. And I could come in here, let's say, to the chest area of my design, grab my tools in here, my effects tools under Photo Paint. I could go to Custom Dodge Burn, and I could select Burn Midtones. I'll come down here, Burn Midtones. I'll go over here and get kind of a softer brush, maybe here at 100. You'll see that if I go in here and I do some darkening in here, I can actually darken or change my tone curve here. Now my amount is set at minus 50. I'm going to change this down to about minus 78. You see now I'll get much darker and I could go in here and add some kind of chest, chest shape in here that would affect my half tone dots and I could convert this to half tones and have what looks like actual pectoral muscles in here just by doing some dodging and burning. Now there's a lot of different effects we can create directly in photo paint with this but as you can see there that's having quite an effect on my graphic. I'm going to go ahead and bring this down even more to minus 100. And we'll go ahead and click here. And we can darken this up even more. And you can see that I'm creating some very nice shading that will give my lumberjack kind of like more of a chest look in his shirt half tones when I go ahead and print those out. So these, once you go ahead and tweak these, I'll go ahead and save these. If I save these back into draw, go ahead and close this, close this. And now you can see we've got some chest that looks like there. Now I could have probably spent more time on that, but I could go through and do tweaking of my individual color separations as grayscales directly into Photo Paint, which opens up, excuse me, yes, Photo Paint, which opens up a lot of new avenues of effects and things I can do with my color separations outside of just vector type effects on my color separations. So once I've set up my grayscale separations, whether or not I put some effects on this, I can simply go to File and publish the PDF. Publish this out to a PDF and send it to my printer. He could open it as a PDF and go ahead and print out the separations through his RIP. And if he doesn't have a RIP or he can't print half tones, of course, at this point we could go back to Simple Steps and then go ahead and convert this all back to half tones. So we'll wrap up here on converting to grayscales and we'll continue in our next session.